What's up guys, TechDog here. Today I received a packet from China, from AliExpress. I bought some fake HP stuff, a fake HP USB stick and a gaming mouse. About a stick I haven't googled yet, but it's... I don't think it's legit, and the mouse I googled it. Only sites are these random Chinese uh, websites where you can buy knockoff stuff like AliExpress and others. Everything so... Chinese and there's nothing about SNOS on the official HP website and uh, it's really interesting to take a look at this, how good this performs so at first I'll box it, it then I'll grab my laptop and then we will be testing how good this peripherals work so to say first let's unbox the USB stick I think it comes right off here, there's like a little seal of quality you could say it Please note, 1 megabyte, 1 million bytes, okay, requirements, yeah, pretty much standard stuff, special here, something, legal print, it's laughable, yeah, here we have the USB stick itself, it looks like a pretty standard USB stick slides out here, yeah, I will be running the hardware test tool, I don't know, I'm not sure which one yet, but simply see if it's really 32 gigabytes. Uh, it was like 4 euros, I think. This whole the package together cost me 18 euros. I think 14 was the mouse and then for the USB stick. Yeah, just standard USB stick. Here's the most in more interesting part. The mouse itself. Let's get it open. Was pretty nice touch this HP seal, I must say. So uh, pretty bad at unboxing. Okay. okay. So everything that comes. Booklets, gaming mouse quick start guide. This one is pretty legit, use the same font as the original HP devices. Buttons, something. Same in Chinese. Technical support. Oh, this one is interesting. Email to following address HP Gaming at ZSO. Sorry. Yeah, it's. I am quite sure this is not coming from the Logic HP factory, but <laughs> or perhaps it is, because they use the same factories. Product support, email service at jx.com, Brazil, Euroguide, Paraguide, China, Korea, is there something like Europe? Mexico, mm, doesn't look like it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's even intended for a European market. Right. Let's get this to the side. Here's itself. The cable feels pretty cheap, like standard HP branding here. Here's the mouse itself. Actually, it looks pretty decent, I must say. I like the looks of it. A little bit small for me. But I have big hands, that's why that's why it feels a bit too small for me. Yeah, it's mouse. Alright. <laughs> yeah, gaming mouse. Made in China. Quality control pass. 2028. Hmm. Pretty fresh. All right, let me grab my laptop and then we'll see how it compares. These buttons are really silent. I think I uh, bought the silent variant. So you can hear it, but it's like, these are clicky. These aren't. Yeah, I'll grab my laptop and then we will see how it plays. <laughs>
So I tried a bit of 1.6 with this mouse. It felt pretty good in my hand. Uh, only problem with my uh, pinky finger, I think it's called. It doesn't really feel comfortable, but it's the problem of on practically all mice. Also, on the, I have had this, what is this even, uh, Steel Series Rival Dot mouse. I had it for five years, as you can see, it's pretty beaten up. <laughs> I've been using it nonstop for five years for gaming and stuff. Yeah, it's. I would like to have a mouse that's a little bigger than this. This is like a little bit smaller, but it's still, I found it decent from playability. I could get frags with this mouse. Of course, it isn't a. What was this mouse? 40 euros, I think, or 50s I bought it. Of course, it won't have the same build quality and stuff, but it feels pretty decent. And for 15 euros, I don't think you could get a much better house mouse. I also had. For just for size comparison, this Microsoft, I would say it feels about the same. This feels definitely a bit bigger. Maybe I'll try like this. Yeah, it's really hard to see on camera, but from feels here, this feels a bit bigger than these two. Yeah, on my on daily use, I normally use this most trackball, but it isn't really something for gaming. Yeah, I couldn't also test this very truly because I have exams coming up next week. So a little bit five minute gameplay of 1.6 is the most I could do. But for 15 euros, I don't think you can get a better mouse. That's my opinion. And now I only have to wait for the H2 test V to finish on the USB stick. Let's see how far is it? Oh, it will take some time. But I really have a feeling in my gut that uh, it will have those 32 gigabytes or how much was it? Yeah, 32. Because I ordered another USB stick for 4 euros also, but 60 and it had those 60s. So the test was successful, but it was USB 2.0. So yeah, when it will finish, I will just give you an update. But I think it will be. Like promised. Yeah, in conclusion, I have to say this mouse feels pretty good. Also, like looks, it has multiple different DPI settings, and when you change it, the color changes. Like the lowest is on green. That's why. That's how I like it. Yeah, it's also you can cycle through, just so indicates, but then after some time, it blinks. And then it just returns to the normal color rotation. So yeah, I will just give an update when the USB stick has finished testing. And that will be about it. So the USB tester has finished. It is those 30 gigabytes. So in that regards, it's fine. But one last comment about mouse. Here we have it. I don't know how good it will be on camera, but when you touch it a little bit, it wiggles, but this button doesn't, this one does. If you use it normally, you don't feel it, but it's already only after a few minutes of use like that. So that's it's little, I think it has gotten loose somewhere, I'm not sure, but yeah, if it already becomes like that after a f only a few minutes of use. It only says about quality, at the build quality. But from looks, it's pretty fine. Since I'm not a pro gamer or anything, it's decent enough for me for the eventual round of Counter-Strike. So for my money, I'm satisfied, I will say. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will speak to you soon.